Hello, hi everyone, it's M here presenting you an elaborated version of this project with all explanations like with what and how I made it. So, and, uh, and before I start, thank you so much for liking the initial version of this uh, video. It was in a fast forward mode and people actually liked it. So, um, many people demanded how I created it. So, I just wanted to explain each and everything that I used and how I did it. So, um, let's start. Let's start it. I have taken three notebooks. Make sure these books should be as slim as possible. So I turn all the pages of these notebooks and literally I had only 10 pages left in them. I applied a simple school glue, which is a white glue if you have, and then applied it all over the pages and covered, just wanted to stick everything together. So, uh, you can see the roughness on these notebooks. It's all because when I was applying white glue, I also pasted tissue paper over it. You know, after doing one coating of the white glue, just put a tissue paper gently over it. Not much gently, just slightly roughly. Then when it will be dried, you will get a nice rough texture on these notebooks. Uh, and then um, I have used simple acrylic paints. On this whole project, I, have, I haven't used anything except acrylic paints to give them a color. So, uh, when these books are fully dried, when you say they are fully dried, used a hot glue gun and then paste them over the canvas. It was an old boring painting and I never wanted to use it. And um, it was a gift by someone, but definitely I had no colors at my home uh, that, you know, um, looks good with this painting. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, I wanted to change it. <laughs> Now I'm uh, drawing some random designs on this cardboard piece and I will cut it later on just to decorate my books.
after pasting everything with hot glue gun uh, I'm uh, I'm spreading this glue randomly all over the notebook just for um, nice texture you can say um, just for um, for more texture on this notebook um, it's difficult to explain but when you will see it later on you will you'll uh, like it when we will paint it with the golden so uh, this will give kind of an antique look so keep watching it This is something I have done with first notebook. Now it's time for the second notebook. On the second notebook, I'm going to apply polymer clay. Now I have put a stencil over the notebook and going to apply this polymer clay all over the notebook and giving it a nice design. When it will dry, it would be hard, it would be nice and the texture and everything. You can see a 3D kind of a look on the cover of notebook. Time for third notebook. I'm applying acrylic brown paint all over the notebook.
as you can see I have already painted brown uh, acrylic paint all over the three notebooks because later on I'm going to give them an antique kind of a look so For hiding background colors, I'm applying a thin coat of gray. Start working on the first notebook of this canvas. Uh, meanwhile, the grayish uh, background paint will dry. So uh, I'm using a simple golden acrylic paint over it. After finishing my first notebook, it's time to decorate my second notebook. Uh, decorating it with um, these tapes, they just just look like just like a newspaper. So they are really beautiful because in this project, I'm using newspapers and bone newspapers later on. So. It's a simple um, geotrope with uh, ribbon leaves in it. So um, I randomly saw at the stationery shop and I found them really attractive and beautiful. So I bought them. <laughs>
finishing the second notebook, I'm going to decorate third notebook with some decorations and golden paint. Keep watching. So here, after giving, uh, giving a final look to three notebooks, I'll be working on the canvas background. So I'll keep it aside and let it dry completely. I'm cutting and painting these paper cups for further use. I'm cutting in, uh, some newspaper randomly I am taking some you know random pieces from newspapers and for my project we can also cut some specific words from the newspaper if there is any word like creative hope um, something like this so I'm just I have uh, already cut newspaper clippings so now I'm going to burn them it's a regular lighter and with the lighter I'm going to burn them this brown and black texture will give a very nice look so just be careful with your hands with your dress with your clothes and everything and I'm burning the newspaper also from the center for the black thing because later on I'll put some cigarette pieces on this canvas so um, all together it would be a nice uh, it would be a nice look if they are placed together so be very gentle be very kind with your hands and just uh, work very carefully So here after decorating these paper cups with a jute I'll place them on this canvas randomly and I'll spread them.
drawing of this uh, canvas matters a lot because after drawing this canvas fully i'm going to i am applying at the moment uh, i'm applying this clear white school glue and uh, you can use a clear glue or white glue anything which is available to you or all purpose glue will also work for you so i am pasting these newspapers pieces over the canvas now you need to be very gentle because you know when you burn the paper it would get stiff so it might break the brown part especially the black part it might not break you know you need it you need it for the textures you know for the final look of your projects so just be very uh, gentle while handling these um, burnt papers so here it's fully brown i haven't made any video because you know i just wanted to give the background another look so it's all brown here i'm using golden and brown paint for further shades on this canvas as you can see i am trying to shade some areas For further decorations, I'm using cigarettes. Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. Please don't use them, but apply them in your art and craft work. So Time for these wooden pieces to be pasted on this canvas. So uh, now it's time to use these plastic decorative uh, lanterns. I um, I saw them at the, my nearby stationery shop. So they look beautiful and they are basically for the decorative purposes. But just um, um, I'm applying them with hot glue gun on all over this uh, canvas. After putting pencil beside every notebook and jute rope with ribbon uh, on this canvas, now I'm going to use pencil shavings. These are the pencil shavings, but uh, giving you a trick, just mix some dried leaves of green tea or some dry herbs in, and mix them all together. It will also give a nice texture. Trust me, I have um, used them a lot, but they are really good, especially green tea leaves. They work really beautiful mixing with the glue and i'll be applying it all over this project for this more roughness you know more brown texture more roughness and this is going to be the last step for sure
so this is the final look of this whole canvas and I'm waiting for it to dry completely it's still not dried fully so I'm just waiting and thank you so much everyone for being with me and for your patience and appreciation just like subscribe and share my channel for more love thank you so much Thank you.